Hey guys, it's Phoenix. Uh, just a uh, quick little update about what I've been up to. This is my new ride here, a uh, 2013 Triumph Street Triple R, and um, got a few accessories on it. Got the belly pan, as you can see there, arrow exhaust, as you can see right there, and then also the uh, the fly screen. Now I've been gone for a little bit. Um, yeah, I've been riding the whole time, just haven't been filming anything. Had, as you saw from my last video, my exhaust video, a uh, 2010 Z1000. And basically, I uh, had, had an accident with it. Uh, you know, deer involved accident, as we all experienced once, at least, I think, in our, in our time riding. And if you don't, you're extremely lucky in my opinion but uh, basically lost out on that bike but um, you know I was lucky enough to be able to pick up this one and it's a great it's a great bike you know there's this there's, there's not much more uh, that I would want out of a motorcycle that this doesn't offer very versatile and um, it's just a great all-around bike I've only had it for a couple of days so far but I'm loving it man I really am so I'll probably do a comparison video between the Z1000 and the uh, Street Triple R, you know, later. Uh, but for right now, I'm just going to let you hear what it sounds like uh, because that's important to everybody, right? <laughs> Hold on one second here. This is like the Suzuki. So this exhaust is a uh, custom exhaust for this uh, for this bike. I, I I don't know if it comes I don't know if it comes on the uh, Daytona, but I think it looks cool. I did ride into work, so it should be warmed up a little bit. Let's see what it sounds like. I'm not going to go too too much with it, it's still breaking in. Uh, I put about 200 miles on it so far in the past couple of days. And, uh, you know, like I said, uh, compared to the Z1000, I'm very happy. I'll do a comparison video at another point. But it uh, uses 87 octane, and it was getting me over 40 miles to the gallon. So that lightweight, fun, great acceleration, incredible handling. There's really nothing bad I can say about this bike. I mean, unless you're, you're looking for something that can go off-road, I guess that's where you're going to start complaining. But other than that, this is, this is a great bike. So, uh, this, again, just a quick update let you know what I was doing. Take care, guys.